Chelsea would like to know, have you helped with a husband having hypergondalism? Uh, hypogonadism? Maybe? Yes, that's okay. hypergonadism. So what I'm hypogonadism sorry. means, it really means that uh, he uh, doesn't have, well, there's two types. There's hyper, uh, hypergonadotropic hypogonadism, which you don't have to remember that word, or, <laughs> or hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. Either way, uh, the testicle is not making a lot of sperm or it's making no sperm. Now, one of the common causes of that is the pituitary gland just isn't stimulating. And so there's no FSH or LH to stimulate the testes. And the other way is just the testes itself is deficient in sperm production. So it's two different approaches for you. Um, what was the name, her name again? Chelsea. Chelsea. So Chelsea, there's two different approaches. If it's the pituitary isn't working, then we replace pituitary hormones. But that's never going to give you a normal sperm count. It might take four months and it might take nine months, and we keep checking it. And once you make even the smallest amount of sperm, then we freeze the sperm, and that frozen sperm will be good for an infinite number of IBS cycles. It's because we inject the sperm into the eggs. We first developed that in 1993, and it really works, and it doesn't matter if the sperm count is normal or not. But now what if the testicle is just deficient and it appears to be making no sperm? Well, in 60% of those cases with microsurgical procedure under local anesthesia, we can find sperm. Maybe a few sperm, maybe a two sperm, maybe five or ten sperm. I'm not talking about a thousand or ten thousand or ten million or twenty million, which are all very low sperm counts. I'm talking about two or three sperm. We can inject those sperm into the eggs and again have a normal pregnancy rate. So even if the man is not making sperm, quote, not making sperm, 60% of the time we can find enough sperm for the wife to get pregnant. So 40% uh, of the time, if we think he's making no sperm, okay, well, we're not going to find sperm. Uh, but that's a very, very tiny percentage of patients. So we hope that you're in that. Either it's 100% if it's just the pituitary gland, and it's 60% if it's the testicle.